Well met friends, and welcome to this little side project that I'm doing called Winter Ember. Now, as you can plainly tell on the title screen, it's a demo, uh, because this game has not been fully released yet. It's developed by... I don't know too much about this game, but at the moment, it's... As far as I know, it's developed by Blowfish Studios and or Sky Machine Studios. So they could both be developing this game or collaborating with this game. One's doing the artwork and the other's doing the engine. I don't rightly know, I'm afraid, and uh, I'm going to keep it that way because I want to be... I want to be fully surprised with this game when it comes out fully. If the demo itself has grabbed me enough. Now I'm going to go on record here and say I've actually played a little bit of this game um, already, about like 30 minutes or so of it. Uh, it's not the full demo, I actually haven't completed the whole thing yet, but I thought it would be nice to just introduce 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 to my channel as just a little um, side project to maybe get on the ground floor and see what these games are all about because as it's described it's an action adventure stealth game um, for an even better description it's actually a an orbited camera isometric um, I want to say yeah thief style game where the protagonist, or de antagonist, depending on how this game is played out, is... it's like the, they've obviously taken some inspiration from the Thief games. Um, so with this game, uh, because I enjoyed Thief Deadly Shadows in the previous titles, uh, I thought yeah, it'd be nice to uh, include in my game. Now, I downloaded this demo. I, sh I should mention that you'll be noticing a lot of things about this game that are screaming out to be demo. Um, I downloaded this not too long ago, about a few weeks ago. Um, the original, or really, rather the release date for the demo officially came out on February the 3rd. Now that's the GOG version of this demo, which I am playing. Um, and it's not very big, it's only like less than 600 megabytes, so you can guarantee it's not going to be a very long demo uh, in for whatever reason. But for the most part, the demo is heavily restricted. As you can tell when I was trying to talk to you then, um, you can't actually change the volume in this game. I have tried and it didn't work. I've actually already had a few problems with this game's um, customization and settings. Which I find a bit real, a little bit weird, but you know, I guess that's the uh, decision that they wanted to release at. Um, but what we're left with is just a simple option screen, nothing more, nothing less. We have our custom preset. Now this doesn't really do much, I'm afraid. Uh, the resolution, you you can turn it up higher, but it won't actually go any higher. I've tested this as much as possible, and it just won't it'll keep reverting back to. So if I, apply, if I go to six, 1600 by 900, hit, hit apply, as you can see, nothing's really changed. There was no uh, fade out or blackout, and then a refresh rate to determine the resolution being applied. If you go back to the options, yeah, it's just turned straight back to the resolution of 1280 by 720. Now that was a little bit strange to me, because even games that are demonstrations, at the very least, you want to cater it to the the latest sort of um, obvious choice for resolution scales that games are accommodating these days, i.e. 1920 by 1080. Um, but this is what we have to work with. Uh, the resolution scales don't, as far as I know, don't do anything. Um, the V-Sync, again, testing all of these stuff out, didn't really um, change anything. The game played exactly the same way. But interestingly enough, when I first installed this on the, my computer, I was having very weird uh, low frame rate, like about 30 FPS. And then I decided to mess around with the graphics, change the preset or whatever. And then for some reason, um, I, it still didn't work, but then I closed the game down, booted it back up again, and then it started running quite smoothly again, as in this in this form that you see it now. You know, soft particles moving, 
the mouse is nice and smooth. That's pretty much how it worked. I didn't know why. And for some reason, it's not got back to that whole 30 FPS thing now. So for anyone who's confused about that, if you're trying to test this demo out, um, I hit VSync, closed the game, turned it back on, and then I deselected VSync. But even then, it's still running smooth. So I don't know if uh, the settings on this is properly optimized for what we've got. Again, I wouldn't. I'm 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 saying this ahead of time because I don't believe that any of this actually makes a difference. It's you're going to be playing it in the exact uh, graphical and resoluted way the game wants you to. Now, just uh, before we start the demo, I'll give you a quick synopsis of the game. Or synapses, depending on where you're from. And that is, you are Arthur Artreus. Sorry, Arthur Artorius, The sole survivor of a massacre that devastated your family's legacy and tore them out of history, out of the history book. Thought to be dead, you emerge from exile eight years later. The faceless man kindled by the flame and seeking vengeance. Embark on an adventure, unraveling a dark tale filled with twisted characters centered around a militant religion hell-bent on keeping control. So that's pretty much the game in its entirety for its story. Um, so I guess this is going to form uh, following the formula of you're an assassin, not just a thief. But again, it uh, falls into the category of uh, medieval fantasy, or at least one of those two things. Fantasy, definitely. Uh, medieval, not so much. This actually takes place during the, I want to say, the 17th century. Um, I don't know if the game's going to mention this at some point, but it's definitely not medieval. But again, not it's not modern, so I'll, I'll take that for what it's worth. But without, without further delay, uh, let's get into it. Loading Arthur's Mansion. And as you noticed, I um, turned the, the volume down uh, from my, uh, my system. Because the game volumes, again, doesn't work. I'd actually, I didn't find a volume thing on here, to be honest. Um... Oh yeah, that's another thing as well. Um, no option. <laughs> There's no option menu in um, in the actual game itself. You'd have to go back to main menu to uh, reset anything. But again, it's a demo. I'm going to be as fair as possible. So, the way this game works is, as you can see, it's an isometric game. Um, you get to use the WASD. In fact, it wasn't the WSD. I actually think it was supposed to be the ES. No, 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 no. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I'm to I'm talking out my bumpus right now. So it's the WASD key that's that you move uh, plays um, like a sort of Diablo-style isometric game where you're controlling one character. And yeah, as you can see. There's like a weird little um, brightness tinting thing going on every time you reach um, a light source. So I think that me that's meant to represent your, um, you know, you're not under cover, under, under cover of darkness. So there's a chance that you could be spotted easier, I think the premise is. Um, and also on the bottom here, I don't, well, you can't rightly see my mouse cursor, I'm afraid. But um, you've got like a wavy sort of motion effect thing going on in the bottom and that is to represent how much sound you're generating so I think the um, more squiggler, squigglier it is for lack of a better term uh, the more louder you your character is generating sound more obviously but uh, holding control down whilst walking again you can't rebind the control so again this is what we have to deal with, which I much prefer it to be in the C key, or at the very least give us the options, but again, a demo. Now this is something different I'm doing for my channel, because 
as much as I like, I really love stealth games, stealth medieval games, and I definitely wanted to try this game out because I was randomly typing it one day in uh, Go uh, no, Duck Duck Go, and this was one of the games that came up. Now, funny enough, this game hasn't been well received on GOG, sadly. It's at one point, I want to say, yeah, there we go. Because I've got GOG open on uh, my second screen. It's actually viewed as 1.9 out of 5. It's like, mm, okay. So we have the cover mechanic as well, which is always appreciative. I can't tell... Yeah, there's obviously some weird... Uh, texture issue <laughs> texturing issues going on when your character's proned against a wall or a solid object like that but it's good to know that you can uh, do that okay so it you'd have to move the a and d keys to move side to side up and down even though you're not technically going side to side you're going up and down out of the force perspective you can also run in this game holding shift which is obviously really good uh, I don't really know how I feel about my character constantly slouching, though. You know, I mean, I get it, he's like... He's meant to be some sort of professional, but... You know, that would do major strains on your back. Just saying. Um... But yeah, without further ado, let's just carry on. Uh, the environments look really good, in fact. I, again, snowy. Snow. I'm all about snow. Everybody knows me and knows I love snow. So, again, big props to the developers using this. As the thing. Okay, so it's the Q and E button that gives you a slight shift in the isometric angle. That uh, it's basically operates as an orbit. You know, it's orbiting around the character. Um, so that's pretty cool. However, I would like, and this is how I'm going to play this game. I'm going to be criticizing at the same time as playing it because. Although I love these type of games, I'm also the most critical about them. I want them to be the best that they can be. Now, whether or not my input's worth anything to developers or anybody who watches this, that's entirely up to you. But this is just how I'm going to approach it. So, so there you go. You can actually jump on objects, but um, it's kind of just going to glitch us off on certain points because I don't think this was intended for us to go in this direction, if ever. Really? Um, so that's the game's way of saying, no, you're not allowed to uh, go access this point yet. You know, which is fair, I guess, but uh, it would have been nice. I mean, I'm hoping that once the, the full game comes out, it'll be a lot... Uh, it'll be a, mo a lot more subtle about it, not just an instant glitch off the, uh, the box. And I also hope uh, they integrate a soft orbiting camera instead of it like doing it at 45 degree angles like this um, sorry I've just recently eaten instead of doing 45 degree angles like this um, you want to have it where the middle mouse button although I, I'm pretty sure is going to be used as a separate key anyway the middle mouse button will be used to if you hold it down can do a soft slide and you can uh, pivot as much as you want. It doesn't need to be 45 degree angles all the time. So that's one thing I'm hoping is going to be included because as far as I know not just fantasy uh, medieval games but all, most strategy games that have an orbit style camera have had this as an implementation. And not just strategy games but also any sort of Diablo clone isometric games that you are able to turn the camera has this. You know, going from... Uh, Spell Force to Jagged Alliance, later editions, even the um, the Fallout games, the the later ones, the ones that never got made. I'm sure I'm missing on the uh, other ones as well, but uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about this green vi vignette tint going on around the edges. But I personally do not like vignette settings whatsoever. I absolutely hate it. Um, and I certainly don't like it being completely covered. I mean, again, it's not, it's a nice idea, but again, I'm hoping it's going to be an option to completely remove that, even if it's to indicate that you're in better stealth, because I know the Thief games, as well as Dishonored, I think have already done that, use that as an implementation, to get rid of 
you know, they've, they've implemented this as a game, but they've also give you the option to erase it. Uh, but I don't think Dishonored has, and that's one thing I'm never going to go back to, because Dishonored, you know, just... As we've just said. So, we've got something here which we are not able to use. We need to use a fire arrow for that, so what we need to do is hold down tab, and we need to select the normal head sh Okay. Normal head wood shaft. Okay, so hold down for the bow. And we then have a bit of crosshair thing going on, which I like. It's pretty cool. And um, a sort of uh, a direction point that gives us the means to see where exactly our arrow is going to travel through and land. So let's do it. Right mouse button to aim, left mouse button to fire. No issues there. Again, would love to play this game on a much higher resolution so that this, the camera is much more zoomed out and you get to experience a lot more of the environment around you. Now hold H for your compass. O. To view your compass and objective. Press H. Right. So, if you, as you can see where my mouse is, my mouse cursor, it has like a a green image with a sort of pointy arrow directing you to, I think, where your next objective is meant to be. So, yeah. Uh, I... I pretty much like that, actually. I like games where they don't hold your hand and tell you where you need to go. Um... Oh, yes, let's pick this up. A blunt head, rope, claw head. Awesome. And I like... I don't mind this as well. Um... I prefer, again, this is my preference, but I prefer where games have had, like, again, going back to the Fallout games, the whole roof has been um, disappeared. So it, it shows the whole structure, or at least the, the feel of where your field of view is in the structure. There's no sort of soft shadows of, of the above roof area still showing in particles. Again, that's not bad, but again, that's just my preference. I want the whole roof to be, to be gone in there and everything. So maybe, maybe they'll use that as an option. But who knows. I'm just saying that's what I like. So, can we go up here? No. I'm guessing we can only climb up boxes which are only about yay high. It's about, about, about that, really. But again, if he was standing up, he'd probably be able to reach that, but, you know, it's what would I know? This rope looks important. Oh, and that's a good thing as well. Going near the light sources, you can actually hit the, the left mouse button to dissipate the lights themselves. As long as they, were, they are within reach. And I think that obviously benefits to your characters. Yeah, so if I turn it off now, you can see the screen's gone darker. I do like that as an effect. Ah, there we go. We've got a means to get up there now. Uh, what have we got here, though? We're going to explore a little bit. We've got a more... Another blunt head wood shaft arrow. Turn off the lamps. I mean, this is... A, this is his mansion. I'm assuming... He's okay with this. Can we go? Ooh. No, but we can take a peek. Oh, we have to hold the mouse down. Okay. Right... That's pretty cool. Again, I like, I appreciate games that do that. Uh, but this is what we've got inside the foyer area. And let's just carry on going in this direction, which we missed the box. Okay, I'm going to just try that again. Assuming we can go this, this way. Okay, that's going to be worrying because... I'm hoping there'll be some sort of indication of where you're about to fall, because I can guarantee you, if there's any, like, bottomless pits areas where you're going to maybe instantly die, that's going to be concerning, because I couldn't tell where I was going to land there, so... Okay, let's turn off the lamp. Um, these papers don't seem to be doing anything. But 
we can climb up these boxes here. No. <sighs> okay, so you meant to just tap the space bar, not hold it down. I think. I hope. What's this? There we go. To knock out or stealth kill unsuspecting enemies, hold control to sneak. And then press F to stealth kill. Or hold L. Uh, uh, L. Press F to stealth kill or hold F to knock the suspect unsuspecting person out. Now, this is where it's a little bit of a gripe. Because as someone who likes stealth games, I don't like... I like to play them non-lethally. And I wanna... I Now, in my preference, in my previous titles that I've also played, like especially like Deus Ex, um, and other such games like that, they've always prioritized the tap button as the non-lethal way to take down an enemy. Whereas the lethal one has always been, you know, you wanna, it, it's, it's like you're committing more to wanna do it, so you'd have to commit more to pressing down on the button. I don't personally like the way they've reversed it in this game, simply because I would prefer, again, the non-lethal way of playing this game. And if there's a chance where I maybe be hot, I maybe be, if I can talk, uh, if there's a chance where I'll be holding down the button, but for some reason my button prompt is not registered, then it may kill the person. I might have to go back to a um, checkpoint. So let's, uh, let's let's hold him. Let's hold down. Right, so that was a little bit janky then. Uh, I had to get really close to him, even though I was starting to move towards him, and then he just stopped all of a sudden. Me holding, I just held down the F key. Um, but it was not as responsive as it could have been. Still, at least we've uh, managed to pull it off. Oh crap. Okay, so he's seen me. Do I just run? Oh crap. Lock on. To lock on. Halt. Oh Christ. Now that is a hefty amount of... Splash damage poison effect. I'm assuming that's what's happened to me. Pull out sword. I can't even see. Okay, so now we've got a bunch more attacks. Uh, sorry, we're commands to the bottom right of us. Attack, she sword, hold the middle mouse button to block, and the middle mouse button to parry. Okay, right. That's that's not a good. That's not a good hotkey whatsoever to use the middle mouse button as block. That should definitely be the right mouse button. Every game that's incorporated as sword always on the PC has always had the right mouse, the right mouse button as the block. So, what? Press the block. Yeah, apparently I just did that, but it decided. Okay, stop giving me commands. I think I'm dead. And then it just goes. <laughs> Back to the normal music. Okay, let's try that again. Um, 